This is going to be the sky area for a strata piece. And this is going to be the strata. And by strata, I mean the earth, like layers of geological earth. This is going to get cropped. I'm going to finish this. You're going to see a moon get put on that. Just like on this one. It's strata. And there's going to be a moon that goes on it. I painted this navy to go with this. I thought that looked really good. And I do use a whole piece of paper because I like it. In fact, this is Kilimanjaro. It's nice and thick. So I put it on so that it will stick. First, I take gloss medium and just put some gloss medium here. Normally, I would do a little more. I think that looks great. I thought that this size moon would be the best. The side you want to use is not the fuzziest side. You want to use the smoother side. And I think it would look great just right here. And your brush has to be completely dry. I don't like the way this um, came out, so I'm using Hooker's Green and Alizarin Crimson to make a mauve kind of color. I'm trying to echo the color that was over here a little. It's a little more lavender, but I think it'll be fine. If I put a little alcohol in there, you see a little bit of underneath. And if I do put a little alcohol in here, um, you know, I like that better. It's doing that. I'm going to take a newspaper. I'm going to try pleating this and just brayering it. Yeah, see how that looks better? And then you just fix up a little where you don't like it. But it looks a little better to me. So you have to learn to use lots of different kinds of brushes, different equipment, and do things. And we just need to take this out of the picture. So I'm just taking alcohol and scrubbing it back. That, that piece right there, um, it's really kind of dark. And I might want to see what it looks like just doing a very, very, very thin gesso wash. It's the thinnest, it's very dark. If I put Saran up on that, it'll blend it in more and it'll look better. So I'm just going to go like that and it'll get a little bit of texture. See how you can see the texture? And it makes it not as black. Um, all right, what we're doing is you want this dry and you go just through the paper. You, you know, you don't want to put this like in the center here. You don't want it way up there. You want to put it in a spot where it, it relates. You just go through, it's thin enough, this paper, that you can just go right through the paper. When it's drying, it'll texture, so I'm just going to have to now, um, it's starting to texture. You usually don't have to put it under, but now if I put matte medium someplace else, I have to put it every place. But you got to be careful with matte medium because you can only, you can't keep going back and forth like you can with less medium or else it gets milky. I'm trying not to go back and forth too much. It might even be, I might be going back and forth too much already, but we'll hope not. You know, it's very intriguing having a moon. This will texture more. I'll show you the other one so you can see how it textures. We'll just see um, the little gesso wash you can take off pretty much in the beginning. That's going to texture more. And with a mat, it looks like this. It looks so much better with a mat. <laughs>